The Barcelona game was, I'm, let's see, the hairs are standing up on my arms just talking <laughs> about it. It was so, so special and we just felt like, and it, it, we felt like something was going to happen, but watching the videos back of it, it looked like they knew before we did that they were going to lose. You see Messi and Suarez shaking their heads and it must have been incredible to see your team perform so well against great players. Yeah, it was. Look, it's, I don't think a game like this will happen again in history. You okay, keep saying exactly. that about this club though, yeah. Okay. I know, I know, I know. But this exact, the thing, the thing is that having the two main strikers out and second half, they have to score three goals and in that moment, probably the best left back in the world. Oh, so makes creating chances slightly difficult. And um, we were completely convinced we can win the game. We didn't think about anything else. It was only about we can win the game. But the question was always, will you go through? Again, you know, it's pretty unlikely. We are three nil down. It's Barcelona, so we wanted to win the game. And the moment when we can win the game, it's always then if the result is okay, let's go for all. Let's go all in. And that's what the boys did. And of course, we needed these moments. The start was outstanding. For me, it was the moment when I, I knew we have a chance and this chance became bigger and bigger, bigger from the first second of the game. Is that because Suarez kick took the kick-off? <laughs> yeah. oh, kick they off. left him for 30 seconds and yeah, the crowd went yeah, wild. Yeah, 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 possible. They passed the ball back and it was like... <sighs> and we were there. We were just there. You have to be brave in a game like that. It's so difficult, it's so easy to ask for and so difficult to be because and then um, Fab got, Fabinho got this really early yellow card. Oh my God, how will you go through that situation? <laughs> so all these things, that's why I say there will be big, we will have big games in the future. But these specific little moments, number six, yellow, Robert nine and ten it. out, <laughs> left back out. <laughs> Henderson hovering yeah, around. Hendo with a proper, like, an axe in the knee. It was unbelievable. It was a real bruise there. And um, so all these things were really... They were very special. And then playing the football we played, showing the desire. And that's the, then these are the Anfield moments. We, what can we say? When you see the celebration, the two faces, when you see Chini celebrating the, the 3-0, it was like the face is unbelievable. I don't know how skin can do that. <laughs> and the same face pretty much is Hendo raising the, the trophy. Yeah? Hendo raising it. That face is like, wow. It shows everything. It was so much hard. You know, then crying, Milly crying on the pitch against Barcelona in the corner together with with Chini going down, and that was these pictures. I will, I will never forget in my life. And last question for you. I mean, you know, obviously the aim as a football coach, as manager of Liverpool, is to improve each and every game, each and every week, each and every season. Ninety-seven points, a Champions League win. <laughs> How are you going to improve on that? Yeah, look, it's, uh, yeah, the, the numbers are, are, are strange and winning the Champions League, obviously a couple of clubs tried that um, the last few years. We were now two times in the final in the last two years, which is crazy as well. Um, so don't compare. Take the season like it is. Make the best of it. Try everything. Fight like crazy. Go for each ball. Run more. Fight more. Jump higher. That's what we have to do. Don't compare. Because if, we, if the first one is will count after, I don't know, five, six matches, 97, if we win now all games, then we can have 90. That's not important. That's not important because that it was so positive. Why we should make something negative of it? Because we, everybody wants us to reach. People probably have said after the other season, yeah, but we, the, the draw against Leicester and the draw against West Ham and stuff like that, that was, oof, there we lost it. And then they do like, if we would have won it, then we are champion. But it's, again, it's not PlayStation. It's real, it's a real life and you have to react in all the different situations. You have injuries or ill players and they come back on Friday and we play on Sunday and just come, you see him morning and you're <coughs> getting ready. We have to play, we have to be ready to, to find solutions for all the, prop, the upcoming problems and not comparing a season. So a new improvement is possible in, in different moments, in, in, in the areas on the, in, in, the, in the game where we have to, how we pass, where we pass, where we want to go, where we will create chances. Is it possible to, to be every week better than we were, for example, against Barcelona? No, but if, if nobody's that. So we have to make sure that we are as good as possible again, go in the season and fight for whatever we f can fight for. That's all. And we'll see what I'll create again memories, create again stories which we will remember in the future and look back and maybe we'll be champion maybe we'll be fa cup or um, caraboa cup or champions league or not but fight for it with all you have and then we will see where it leads us to only if you want guarantees stay at home 
If you are ready to work, if you are ready to fight, if you are ready to dream together again, come. Let's do that together and then everything will be fine. But guarantees you cannot get. You cannot buy them on the transfer market. You cannot nowhere. You only have to do your best. And that's what the boys are doing. What I'm trying to do and what we all are doing, what you are doing. And so I love really this time at Liverpool, I have to say. It's just like we became the unit in football. That's how it feels. With all the problems around and of course we don't have to talk about politics or anything like that but all the, the football problems around so many teams are rebuilding that's all okay and they will be probably successful again but we have now this group we have this this unity with the with with the supporters and all that stuff which is rare sometimes you take it for granted it's not it should not be we paid back you paid all back constantly so it's all in let's use it that's cool yeah, again, thank you very much for your time. You are welcome. Really you it. are welcome. System, yeah, we will see, which we will use. We have to be, over the season, we had to be creative. It's just like this. That's when we come to that, transfer stuff like that. You cannot cover each position with two players of the same quality. It's just not possible. So, because you always create another problem in the mm. squad, which nobody wants to hear outside. I know that, but it's still there. So, you need to be creative. He can play, I think, last year, Hendo played right back, right? Yeah. yeah. Can, yeah. So, we had different solutions for some problems. Nobody really, ah, we gave Kleine on loan. One week later, Trent was out, <laughs> right? Yeah, one, <laughs> wonderful, moment. Was that? Oh, wonderful moment. Wonderful <laughs> moment. Yeah. Yeah, don't talk about that. So, um, 